Greetings all, Fanny here for Virgo's Daily Oracle Message. Virgo, I hope you're having a good day and a good end to the week. And you're going to start off tomorrow on a good note. Come here, you. I feel like there might be something left in this deck, but let's start with what it gave us. This is a brand new deck to you guys, and fairly new to myself. I've only used it a couple of times before this, but this is the Woodland Wardens deck, and I absolutely love the energy and imagery of it. It's very simple with just an animal, a plant, and one or two words with the meaning. So it's a great one for actually in tuning uh, your intuition if this is something that you are fairly new at. But let's get into your message today, Virgo. You have Cayman and Poppy, Dream. Now, something I want to point out about the Cayman here is that it is so often confused with an alligator or a crocodile. People who are not very familiar with reptiles in general wouldn't even really know what a Cayman is. So for that to be correlated with dreams, I think that is a huge indication that your dreams can be anything that you want them to be. It doesn't have to be something that other people understand because it's not really for them to understand. It's your dream, what you want to make of it. You also have Fox and Ivy with adaptability. And so with that paired with dreams straight out of the gate, I want you to be able to shift and change what you think you want in your life because you are an ever-evolving masterpiece of the universal energy. And so it's perfectly okay for you to want something different day to day and for your dream to change. Do not hold so tightly to the original idea because that too is an ever-evolving masterpiece. That too is ever-changing and ever-shifting. Excuse me, I am so sorry. You have otter and cattail with peace. So whatever it is you're working on, it will bring you peace. It will bring you comfort. It will bring you stability. And that is amazing because there's so much in this world that is lacking in that. Lacking comfort, lacking in stability, lacking in nourishment with the antelope and wheat here. I love the, how the artwork looks in this. So with the nourishment, you want to be make sure that you are putting into your body good, healthy things, green things, natural things, not going out and buying gas station food or fast food and making sure that you are drinking water because this is the one vessel that we get to ride around this world in and we have to take care of it so that we can become a clear conduit for the messages that must come through us. We have the raccoon and sycamore with curiosity. So feed that curiosity. Le at ask where can I go today and follow where your heart is leading you because it might take you on a wild adventure that you would have never gone on had you stuck to the rigorous path and schedule that you had laid out for yourself. You have the finch in peace with romance. Maybe this curiosity will lead you to a new connection with someone that you never thought you would ever like connect with or someone that was so different from the image you had in your mind of what you wanted your partner to look like. You have the crow and dogwood with intelligence. You are a very smart person because I wasn't going to say wise because wisdom and intelligence are two separate things. Intelligence is things that you have learned, things that you were taught. And so for that to be paired with curiosity, go and research whatever it is coming into your mind. If you don't know about something, you have the internet at your fingertips with everything that you could ever want to know. So look into it, read about it, watch videos about it, whatever it is. You have the hair and oak bringing into you new opportunities. And I, I was just reminded of the, um, the story of the tortoise and the hare. And the ego of the hare made him lose the race. And the tortoise, while he was slow, slower moving than the, everyone else around him, he got there when he needed to get there. Similar to you, Virgo, you will get to your destination when you truly need to get there. Kind of like Gandalf, a wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. And so move with that energy and that adaptability as well. You have quail and gooseberry with anticipation. You might be anticipating the new changes and the new life that you are creating, the, the business that you are building, the, the YouTube or social media platform, whatever it is. There is a lot of anticipation there. I, I understand this, my love. But success will come. Have patience. P 
peace, the, the romance, the love, everything will be yours if you just have patience and the success will come with the chipmunk and laurel here. You will be okay and understand Virgo that spirit is holding you and guiding you on the divine timeline. It's going to be very different from this one here because our ego wants things to happen now, 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 more, more, more. But the divine timeline works very differently from the ego's timeline. So allow it to grow, shift, and change and just follow your heart from moment to moment, day to day, and enjoy life because when you enjoy life, you are attracting everything that you want to you purely and uncorrupted by the darkness and negativity that you may have otherwise if you were focusing on that negativity. So find something to enjoy today, Virgo. Find something to smile about. Stretch your creative muscles and let your wings fly. Have a beautiful day, Virgo.